Regarding the recent AI controversy involving a content creator named Owoneko or Nandi, this person received a huge amount of criticism for their stance on AI and why they personally support it. It's okay to support AI because it does have its uses, but it also has dropouts. I personally use it for writing anime visual novels or learning a new language. So I want to give my take on everything as an artist myself. Hello, my name is Insane Rubberu, also known as Jazzy, and this is my personal opinion on the improper use of AI, my criticism of Nandi's actions, and why it's not okay to profit from someone else's story. The clip I will be showing in this video is under fair use, as I am transforming the content by putting commentary on it. Before I discuss this topic, I want to clarify that nobody should harass anyone mentioned in this video. This video is for educational and informative purposes only. First and foremost, there's another content creator by the name of Josta, I hope I pronounced that right, who reacted to Nani's video titled Don't let anyone punk you out of being yourself, the real AI issue under Nani's video. A third content creator whose username was censored wrote the following comment, expressing their opinion. Oh, my bad. With peace, love, using generative AI to create music is just as harmful to artists as using it to create illustrations. This upset Nandi to the point where she made the video previously mentioned. I had not previously discovered Nandi was a huge art creator until now. She put together an AI generated music playlist and it didn't sit well with a lot of people. What started as some casual tracks with friends turned into a monetized playlist. The big issue? Music is becoming overturned by bots and companies are chasing quick cash instead of real talent. They, they can push out fast because they just want money. They're greedy like that. And then Nandi also cannot handle criticism because it's clear that she has disabled her comments. And when somebody disables their um, comments on YouTube, it means that they're hiding something. In this case, she didn't want to admit to the fact that she was lying. So that's when I looked at it. Okay, she, she probably thinking her life decisions or maybe she's not i don't know i can't really speak for her but the fact that um she deleted someone's comment that was pretty much calling her out which was already mentioned that's not okay like if you're deflecting educational type stuff then why are you on the internet to begin with? I mean, I'm not being rude, I swear. But it started off like you were literally making music with your friends, and that was fine because there was no money game involved, and now suddenly you're making money just like that. I'm sorry, man, that's weird. Like, you can't just. And then the tool that she uses, like Suno AI, is actually getting sued by real artists because they steal unlicensed music and then they use it to make money. And she's basically, you know, dipping her toes into that type of shit, which is crazy. Yeah. And there was actually talk about a bunch of cr i apologize if my audio keeps coming out like it's not coming out right but you know they actually or Nandi actually misgendered the commenter and i'm not gonna get into that but i just wanted to inform anyone who was curious about that because apparently yeah it happened i'm not faking this for clout yeah i think she actually said something to this person well, I'm only going to talk about the pronoun side, which is that um, the person that they were talking about, they referred to them as she, her instead of he, him, and they had the right to be offended, but Nandi, on the other hand, she had no right to be offended over um, someone's gender, if you catch my drift, like, that shit is weird. 
you should address someone how you would like someone to address you. And then, pretty much last thing I want to touch on is that I want to clarify that if someone disagrees with you, it is not the end of the world. You are entitled to your own opinion or opinions. However, when someone is actively trying to educate you about the idea that you're promoting and why it might be unethical, you should really research and learn from that person's comment or whatever it is. Like, just do your research, man, because we have the tools as, you know, Gen Z and like all these other generations now that we didn't have before, so yeah. And okay, sorry, this is the third audio cut, and I apologize for that, but I do want to end off this video by saying that you should not, and I mean you should not, be harassing people who are validly, who are giving you a valid reason to criticize you, okay? And point blank period, so that's where I'm going to end this video, and I hope you have a good day. Bye!